<laughs> we could save you money. That's my number one reason why we should prepare your taxes. Wouldn't it be easier to have someone special to talk to at times like this? Give Toledo area big sisters a call. WTOL-TV, Toledo. Straight from the newsroom, this is Toledo 11 News. Good evening. Ohio's worst blizzard produced winds of 75 miles an hour today, whipping and drifting snow into dense white fog, downing power lines and rendering travel almost impossible. Entire cities were without electrical power. Airports were closed in Toledo and elsewhere. Nearly all state and interstate highways were closed or hazardous. Some Ohio National Guard units have been mobilized, including the 323rd Military Police Company in Toledo. More on that later in the broadcast. Citizens are asked not to call the Guard for help. Instead, call your police department, and they'll relay any messages. Governor Rose declared a state of emergency after learning that at least 150,000 homes were without electricity. Schools, most city and county offices, and many businesses were closed throughout the state. We'll have a list of those later on. The governor said 59 of the state's 88 counties asked for help, and he said, you can rest assured we're going to ask the federal government for money. Toledo was typical of Ohio cities almost crippled by the storm. At last word, some 25,000 customers of Toledo Edison were without electrical service. The storm started as rain and then heavy blowing snow. It made travel nearly impossible on streets and even on major expressways. Motorists who tried to move about and failed littered streets all around the city. Stranded motorists in the area had to scramble to find some shelter today and communities responded with help. In Toledo, the sports arena's main event was lending a hand. Judy Krause is there this evening with a live minicam report. Judy. Jeff, it's pretty quiet right now, but 50 or 60 people have passed through here today where the Red Cross has set up a shelter and they'll provide food and, of course, cots for people to sleep on. And they're also taking people to motels and residences. It's a place for travelers, and there have been some from Windsor, Ontario, and Lansing, Michigan. One couple from there was going to Florida. They're staying in a hotel here tonight. One couple is with me here tonight. They're from Northwood. They were without electricity. Judy, would you tell me what was going on this morning when you woke up? Uh, well, when I got up, I knew there wasn't going to be any school, and I knew right away that there wasn't any heat, so I checked the heat, and it was 60 then. And within two hours, it was down to around 35. And around 3 o'clock, then, we don't know how cold it was, but it had to be around 30 or pass. And you live in a, a tr mobile home. Trailer, right, a trailer. It's our first year, and it'll be our last. <laughs> um, my husband and I tried to fix the gas furnace, but the blower just went out. So we put the children in our bed and bundled them up, and there was no way to get out. What ages are your kids? Carrie's two, and Heather is six. Were you ever afraid that this just might be it for you? <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> see, towards the end, I did. Uh, we, How did you get out? How did we get out? Uh, Larry's mother called the Red Cross, and um, they had called us. And they said they were down about a block away, but they couldn't get to us any further. So they came to our house and he had to climb our fence. Our fence was frozen shut, our gate, so we had to climb it. But uh, we So you made it, it. then yeah. you made it here. Yeah. Okay, also with me is Stan Mock. He's a truck driver from Pennsylvania. What happened with you? Well, I got stranded on 75, <laughs> Perrysburg exit, where nobody's moving. Where, where were you from exactly and where were you going? Well, I'm out of Johnstown, PA, and I'm going to Toledo up here for it to drop and steal. Well, you got that far anyway. <laughs> yeah, the plant wasn't shut, I'd be unloading and going. <laughs> Did you have an accident or what happened exactly? No, the road just shut, the uh, traffic stopped, and I just pulled in right behind the rest of them, stayed her there and hung her up. <laughs> How'd you get out? Well, a uh, guy came down in a van and picked me up and brought me up here. Okay, Jeff, that's what's going on here. The people, are, some are going to be staying the night. Others are, like I said before, being taken to motel or private residences who are willing to take these people in for the night. This is Judy Krause, live from the sports arena. 
Thank you, Judy. A number of shelters are available in the Toledo area besides the sports arena. Two Holiday Inns, the one on Reynolds Road, already has about 300 people. And the Perrysburg Holiday Inn are being used to house stranded motorists. In addition, the Quality Motor Inn on Oregon Road is also providing some shelter. About 200 people are already there. The Red Cross also reports that in addition to these, it has volunteers helping man a center at Friendship Park on 131st Street in Toledo. Besides the roads, the number one concern of many residents is electrical power. Toledo Edison reports the number of homes without electricity has climbed steadily all day to its present 250, uh, make that 25,000, 25,000 households that are in a blackout right now. The reason for that higher trend, besides more snow and wind, is blamed on the inability of linemen and troubleshooters to get to the problem site to fix things. An Edison spokesman notes there are three major areas out of power right now. 6,000 homes between Perrysburg and Bowling Green. Another 5,000 are out uh, in the North End Point Place area and east of the Woodville Mall. Newsman Randy Little reports customers can help by unplugging appliances when the power does go off. Imagine telephones were lit up at the service dispatcher's office of Toledo Edison. It's the job of these men to direct those big yellow troubleshooting trucks to fix those downed wires and blown out transformers. The big trouble today, though, getting through drifts to fix the problem. Electrical customers can help out in restoring electricity, oddly enough, by unplugging all appliances that would come on automatically when power is restored, such as freezers or refrigerators. This would prevent any power surge that would develop and possibly cause the feeder to go out again. We're asking people to isolate themselves into one room of their home and uh, shut off the other parts of their house, including uh, pulling the drapes and the blinds. Uh, of course, fireplaces do help keep a, uh, a person warm, and uh, uh, they can use this. Uh, but we do encourage people not to use charcoal, as it will release uh, carbon monoxide gas in the house. Viewer says food in a freezer will keep 24 to 48 hours. It's not yet known exactly how long it will take to get service back in some of the more rural areas. The best estimate of that, a day or two. Snowmobiles are being used to carry linemen out to do some troubleshooting. And if you see a downed wire, call Toledo Edison. Let them take care of it to avoid a possible shock. I'm Randy Little, Toledo 11 News, with the Minicam. If you do see a downed wire or some damage, 255-1530, 255-1530 is the trouble number for Toledo Edison. It's also listed in the telephone book. You can look there as well. This is your seat. From it, you can see action. Thrill. Don't miss the International Hockey League's most exciting team. Get your tickets now and get in on Toledo Gold Digger action. Call 693-0777 or get your tickets at the Sports Arena open 9 to 6 Monday through Saturday. Gold Digger Hockey, the fastest game in town. It's blowing up a storm out here, but your Toyota dealer is stopping winter cold with the hottest deals in town. The heat's on us to sell 3,500 new Toyota cars and trucks in just four days. So we'll be open late tonight and dealing like never before. So coming out of the cold because it's winter stopping, hot deal shopping time at Toyota. See your local Toyota dealer today for the hottest deal around. A special reminder from First Federal Savings and Loan of Toledo. Be sure and check the maturity dates on all of your savings certificates and certificates of deposit. Because if they are near the maturity date, you could earn more interest by reinvesting in a savings plan that will earn more money for you. If you have any questions or need assistance, please stop in at any of the 12 offices of First Federal Savings and Loan of Toledo. Outlying areas have been hard hit as well. Their locations making the weather-related problems even more critical. Mel Martin has been keeping up with the situations out there, and here's his update, Mel. One dispatcher uh, put it very well to me this afternoon. Jeff, he said he's going to go home and kick the first snowman he can find on the way. The situation, it's easy to joke about, but it actually is very serious, especially in rural areas where communications are bad. There's a lot of flat land, which allows the winds to blow and the drifts to get very, very bad. Wood County's got some particular problems, uh, 
especially in Bowling Green. Mayor Al Perkins told me shortly before airtime about 50% of the town has no electrical service. Water pressure is coming up slowly after being out all day. The National Guard is assisting down there. Mayor Perkins told me that the main concern tonight is citizens who do not have heat. Uh, Finley, uh, down in Hancock County, 33,000 Ohio Power customers without power. That situation is expected to remain pretty much the same as it is until tomorrow. The YMCA on East Lincoln Street is taking people uh, who are in need of some help. In Sandusky County, the National Guard has been called up, but they're not able to do very much and hardly move because of massive drifting of snow. Most rural areas in the uh, Sandusky County or without power and cities have intermittent or spotty electrical service. In Erie County, the city of Sandusky has been hard uh, hit. The county sheriff there didn't wait for Governor Rhodes to declare an emergency, so he did it himself this morning. They're also having water problems. Travelers can get help at Good Samaritan Hospital. In Henry County, in the Napoleon area, the situation is grim. Reports that even snowmobiles are having trouble moving on rural roads. In Fulton County, the roads are uh, almost impassable. Help for travelers are available at the VFW on Fulton Street in Wauseon. In Allen County, down Lima Way, roads are also very bad. The Red Cross is offering help at the United Church of Christ in Lima. Up in Michigan, things aren't quite so bad, except in Monroe County, where there are almost uh, 120,000 customers with no power. As you get away from the Ohio line, it's not quite as bad as it used to be. People we talk to all pretty much tell the same story. Things are very bad in rural areas where phones are often a problem. People are being recommended stay off your telephones, especially with the power down. That drains the telephone system even more. Don't make any calls for anything unless it's a life or death situation. That's it. Thank you, Bill. And Joe, I know you have a little bit of good news. Well, Later it's, this evening, right? it's good news in a way, yes. The blizzard warnings will be changed to traveler's advisories, but that will be after midnight tonight, and that's mainly a visibility thing. It doesn't mean that you're going to be able to get out in the streets and go anywhere. If you're warm and comfortable where you're at, stay where you're at, because you're not going to be able to go anywhere from the looks of things, at least until Saturday, and even that's a little doubtful. It's still very bad, and the winds are very slowly going to diminish. Right now, there is still snow and blowing snow being reported all over the state of Ohio, Indiana, and Lower Michigan. Michigan. Blizzard warnings remain in effect for all three states, with the exception of extreme southwestern Ohio. They have traveler's advisories there. The snow has diminished a little bit. Our winds have dropped off somewhat, but they are going to pick up again. They're still expected to be out of the west at 30 to 50 miles an hour. This will continue the blowing and drifting problem, and it is going to continue to be a serious problem. 22 degrees. Uh, it's important to uh, be aware of the uh, chill index with winds like this. So we picked a 20 degree temperature with a 40 mile an hour wind just to be in the middle and to uh, get the extreme. And as you can see, that's 22 degrees below zero for a chill. The current temperature reading out of Toledo Express Airport is 21. That's a minus 6 Celsius. The dew point 18. Relative humidity 88%. The barometric pressure 29.06. And rising from that reading now, 28.49 was our record uh, low barometric pressure. That's the lowest it's ever been in the city of Toledo. The old record was 28.77 set in 1942, in March of 1942. Pollutant standards index unavailable to us today. Sunrise 752. The sun sets at 544, our high today 33, the morning low 8. We have had 9.3 inches of snow total out of this storm. We had 7.5 of that fall during the day today, and there is just, a, well, a little over 12 inches, almost 13 inches of snow on the ground at the moment. We could see an additional 1 to 2 inches of snow tonight. Here's the comparison, if you'd like to compare today's temperatures with last year's. That 29 degree reading uh, high last year was the warmest temperature reported in the month last year, by the way, and the 16 degree below zero reading was rec recorded in 1897. Here's how it looks on the satellite. This is a tremendously huge storm. You can see the whole system here, and the circulation goes all the way back. Now, as the animation takes over, you'll clearly see the whole system begin to wind itself up right in, in through here. You can just see the beginnings of it right there, and it extends all the way back in through here. And it's a very strong, very, very strong system. Now, as we zoom in for the 9 a.m. to noon shot, you'll really see this thing wind up, the center of it uh, moving up into Canada. But you can clearly see the characteristic comma shape of this type of storm, and it's a very large one covering the entire eastern half of uh, the nation. Here's how it looks on the surface map. The low now is in eastern uh, Lake Huron. It's going to move up to about the James Bay area and kind of stay there. We will be feeling the influence from this storm clear into a Sunday. Strong winds running all the way back 
back through Iowa and through Missouri. There's rain and showers causing flood problems all up and down the coastal sections, and there's still some freezing rain and some sleep being reported in sections of Kentucky and Tennessee. In short, all the states all around us are having this kind of problem. If you're going to travel, just forget about it. Stay where you are if you're warm and comfortable, and don't worry about it, and wait until about Saturday before you even try and poke your nose uh, out the door. Here's how the forecast looks officially. The blizzard warnings will remain in effect at least until midnight tonight. It will be very windy and bitterly cold. Tonight's low, zero to five below zero. We could see an additional one to two inches of snow tonight. Tomorrow, look for traveler's advisories to be in effect. Uh, the winds will gradually diminish. They'll still be in the 20 to 40 mile an hour range tomorrow, which will still cause some uh, blowing and drifting. And we'll see occasional periods of snow. We could get another inch tomorrow. High of 15, tomorrow night's low down to zero. The extended outlook is calling for very cold conditions for Saturday and Sunday with a chance of snow, some fair weather coming our way for Monday, and uh, back into the snow again on Tuesday. Blizzard warnings, again, I can't say this enough. Blizzard means 35 mile an hour winds at least. Blowing and drifting snow or falling snow, which it reduces visibilities to zero at times, and the temperature, at least 20 degrees or lower over an extended period. And of course, we're going to get down below that tonight. It's a very serious situation. You're foolish if you try to venture out unless you absolutely have to go someplace. Thank you, Joe. If you own a Jeep or a truck with a snow plow and want to be busy the next couple of days, give the city of Toledo a call tomorrow morning. The city wants to use the smaller vehicles to clear residential streets. The numbers to call are 247-6521 and 247-6423. These numbers will put you in touch with the city streets division. The numbers to call, once again, 247-6521 and 247-6423. Call those tomorrow morning after 6 o'clock. The city, of course, will pay you for your work. Look who's here! Dave, it's Cousin Phil and Michelle. Hey, no matter how much you'd like to avoid it, you never know when trouble will come knocking at your door. Long trips make me so hungry. That's why Nationwide Insurance has fast claim service. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, Bobby. <laughs> Do I know how to make a fire? This never fails. Uh, nationwide claims? Claim service as close as your phone, day or night. What's this button for, Uncle Dave? No! No! Yeah, nationwide claims? With claims adjusters ready to respond quickly to your call. Fast claim service. Part of Nationwide's blanket protection for your family or business. Nationwide claims. How do you do? Bye. Nationwide. Nationwide is on your side. Is on your side. Nationwide is on your side. Tax service. Here's Elmer, the tax cheat. For years, he was cheating himself on his taxes, not getting all the deductions and tax advantages he's entitled to. But I'm not cheating myself anymore. I found out about beneficial income tax service. The people who care about you, about your dependents, your deductions, your job, owning a home, all the items that make your tax return special. This year, see Beneficial Income Tax Service, the people who care about you, at your nearby Beneficial Finance System office. And don't cheat yourself. During Harry May's January price reduction sale, you can own a 1978 Nova for as little as 35 12 47 at Harry May's Chevrolet in Monroe. Because of inflation, we've had to cut back in certain ways. But we haven't cut out steak. It's still our favorite meal, and A1 makes every bite count. The Red Cross Blood Center was one of many organizations closed because of the weather today. This could have created problems for area hospitals, but those hospitals closed their clinics and stopped doing elective surgery. Newsman Jim Proctor has more on the story. Jim? Well, Jeff, all Toledo area hospitals are at or near their patient capacity, and some departments are overloaded. The weather situation could have posed problems for those hospitals, but all have been able to maintain essential services. St. Vincent Hospital is at 90% of its 600-plus bed capacity, but was able to maintain adequate staffing. Is at 90%. Uh, much of the elective surgery was canceled, either due to physicians unable to come here or some other reason, but uh, we sort of put in a modified disaster plan where we went to 12-hour shifts. That is, uh, anticipating the problem this morning, we held over the third shift employees. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, many of our employees did come in, and others 
uh, some of our employees with four-wheel vehicles went out and, and picked up the ones that were able to get through. With the temperature shooting to about zero tonight and the wind gusting higher than 50 miles per hour, the threat of frostbite is significant and people are advised to pay particular attention to the dangers. Well, the extremity becomes very cold, sometimes painful. It is white and looks like it is frozen. What parts of the body are prone to uh, frostbite? The tips of the fingers primarily, the ears, nose, the lips, anything that is uh, small and easily exposed. Obviously, you should go to a doctor if you, do, if you do think you have it, but if you can't get to a doctor, what can be done? Rapid warming in a water bath is the recognized safest way to do so, but the water must not be any warmer than about 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything warmer than that can cause scalding or uh, actual burning of the tissue. Dr. Kale said frostbite is a problem anytime the temperature dips below freezing. And Jeff, I talked to all the Toledo area hospitals today and all are facing similar staffing problems. Administrators at each hospital praise the professionalism of staff members, those who made it to work under adverse weather conditions. And finally, Jeff, I talked, you talked about the blood center at the beginning of this story. That center will be open tomorrow and will be seeking blood donors so that the city does not run out of blood. Okay, thank you, Jim. Due to the terrible weather conditions, Governor Rhodes has called in the entire 323rd Military Police Unit to assist residents in northwestern Ohio. Of those men uh, who've been dispatched to the Toledo area, they'll aid local police officers. The Toledo Police Division has dispatched more than 1,000 calls so far. And according to Sergeant Harold Scott, policemen and military police teams will continue to answer those calls as they come in. The National Guard for Assistance and they are coming in with jeeps, five of them to be exact, with man by 20 guardsmen, they activated 20 guardsmen rather. We're going to have the jeeps with a patrolman in each unit out assisting stranded motorists and removing their vehicles. Well, are you expecting other jeep vehicles as well as guardsmen th throughout the day or will the five vehicles be enough? No, it's not near enough. We probably had 100 volunteers of four-wheel drive vehicles uh, volunteering. We've transported people with broken arms woman having a baby, et cetera, nurses and doctors to the hospitals. And as we mentioned, the 323rd MP unit was called into service. In addition, only three military policemen accompanied by four-wheel vehicles will be assisting Toledo police until further notice. The other two were ordered to remain at the Secor Armory in case of emergencies. Most of my parties used to be chip and dip affairs. And then I thought of LeChoy egg rolls. Shrimp, chicken, lobster, or meat and shrimp. Easy to fix, but different. Heat them and serve them, and heat them and serve them. Actually, you can serve LeChoy egg rolls anytime, as appetizers or a snack. Mm -hmm. They're rather popular. <laughs> Just think of it. LeChoy makes Chinese food. Swing American. Think of it. Pick up a copy of the Super 7 Circular from True Value Hardware Stores and see all the values that are in store for you. Put light where you need it quickly and easily with the GE Fluorescent Bright Stick for just $9.97. With this handy clamp lamp, you can light up dark areas in your basement or garage in just seconds. And this 25-foot heavy-duty handyman cord puts power where you want it. It's just $3.67 in the Super 7 Value Circular from participating True Value Hardware Stores. If you want to see the bikini in all its glory, there's really only one place, the French Riviera. And there's really only one place for beer, that one and only Genesee Brewery, where they brew that one and only Genesee beer. Just like you have to go to the French Riviera for bikinis, you have to be in one place here in Genesee country for beer. Genesee beer, our one brewery makes it best. Horace got stranded, and I would guess that you won't be very busy tonight reporting scores. <laughs> Not locally, indeed. Weather has stepped in to upset the sports program for the second straight week. Biggest victim was the Big Ten basketball program. All Big Ten games scheduled for tonight will be played on Saturday, and Saturday games will be pushed back until this coming Monday. Among tonight's cancellations were Michigan State at Ohio State and Indiana at Michigan. 
Postponements have also hit the pros. The Cleveland Cavalier game with Indiana at Cleveland is off. The Detroit Red Wing game at Olympia with Pittsburgh will be played this coming Tuesday evening. Consider everything else except snowmobiling and skiing as skiing rather is being called off. Weather made the Miami Redskins pay for their 79-70 win over the Toledo Rockets last night. The Skins were stranded on their return trip and housed in the city jail at Vandalia. It was expected they would be released today, presumably on their own recognizance. The Ohio University team was stranded near Upper Sandusky when their bus broke down. Ohio lost at Central Michigan last night and lost the door of their bus when it was blown off by high winds. Ohio coach Dale Bandy thus celebrated his 40th birthday waiting for he and his team to be rescued. Wouldn't you know it, the ski report is the best that it's been in years. The only problem being, how do you get to the slopes? I guess in all instances, you should call each individual resort to see if they're still in operation. In the western portion of the state, conditions are listed as very good to excellent. Boyne Mountain has enough snow to last through the summer, a 52-inch base. Closer to home, the same excellent conditions seem to be standard. Bases ranging from 12 inches at Sylvan Knob near Gaylord to those listed in the 24 to 30 inch range almost everywhere else. For further information on Michigan conditions, call 1-800-292-2520. For Ohio ski information, call 1-800-248-5456. I can say from firsthand experience that skiing on Huron Street between Cherry and Beach is excellent with a 10 to 12 inch base. Don't scratch, uh, scratch Triple Crown champion Seattle slew from the races yet. An angry Mickey Taylor knocked down a story in the Miami News today which said the 1977 Horse of the Year would be retired to stud. Instead, Taylor says after a little bit of uh, training, Seattle slew may be back. Good warm weather stories. We talked baseball tonight to warm up, too. I forgot my tie today. Gee. <laughs> back with all the closings in a moment. Here are five more great reasons to start a people savings account. Income tax time is here, and for a $1,000 deposit to a newer existing account, you can have this free five-function electronic calculator. $500 depositors will be able to select either this GAF instant loading camera or West Clock electric alarm clock. $250 depositors can have a Ronco steam away or a quality Cory slow drip coffee pot. All items available only while supplies last and can be purchased at nominal cost for lesser deposits. Open a savings account now at People Savings. Tangle with down corn, you know something sinister has been at work. Corn rootworms, the most destructive enemies your corn can have. Eating your roots, robbing your yields. Fight back with Furidan insecticide nematicide. Furidan, still number one for rootworm control. Furidan from FMC. Hello, Dick O'Donnell. And Carl Dewinke from Will Downs and Ford. We've just finished a banner year and we're out to set a new sales record in 1978. So we're holding a big January clearance sale on every new Ford car and truck in stock. For example, right now you can save up to $1,104 off sticker on this 78 LTD2. And we're offering top dollar for your trade. Yes, the good buys at Will Donaldson Ford are better than ever, right, Carl? Right, Smiley. Come to Will Donaldson Ford and say hello. Will Donaldson Ford, Conan Street, Maumee. To a good buy. Shop center this week during Dollar Days and save on G&W Sugar. The five-pound bag, just 79 cents. Limit one with coupon available in our mailer or at store. Shop center and save. As you probably expected, just about everything that can close is closing tonight and tomorrow. And here are the major closings that we have as of airtime.
those were businesses and agencies closed tomorrow. Let's now take a look at some of the schools in the area. Understand what you might. Tarda buses will not run anymore tonight or tomorrow. They hope to be on the road if the roads are clear tomorrow. They're not clear in Indiana, I understand. No, that's the shortest Indiana road report I've ever seen. It just says all roads are closed and impassable due to the snow, and that's pretty much the situation here as well. Blizzard warnings remain up for the Toledo and vicinity until midnight tonight. This is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Good evening. A raging blizzard, one of the strongest in many years, the Weather Service called it, has struck the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley with deadly force. Winds of up to 80 miles an hour knocked out power and heat for thousands. Countless travelers were stranded, and just going outdoors was dangerous. Don Webster reports. The Ohio governor called it the worst blizzard in the state's history. It virtually paralyzed activities in Ohio, Indiana, and much of Michigan, Illinois, Wisconsin, and western Kentucky. In several states, the governors ordered all state highways closed, and on the few that were open, traffic was at a virtual standstill. In some regions, the National Guard was mobilized to search for stranded motorists and assist them. Both electric and telephone service was disrupted as workmen struggled through the blizzard to try and restore service. Most of the airports in the Midwest were closed because of snow on the runways, poor visibility, high winds, or a combination of the three. In the morning, the world's busiest airport, O'Hare Field in Chicago, struggled to remain open, but in the afternoon closed. Only the fourth time in its history it's done so. Airport hotels and motels were quickly filled, and the overflow camped out in the passenger terminals. Some airports said they wouldn't be able to reopen until Saturday at the earliest, and the airlines face massive problems getting their aircraft repositioned. Columbus was among the hardest hit cities. Governor James Rhodes appealed for people in that region to take in stranded motorists. It will be a while before the cost of the blizzard can be measured. One private research firm says last winter's cold weather cost $4 billion in lost wages alone. Today, truck drivers are among those suffering. No way you can move till the state patrol gives a green light. Oh, if I go out, I might get fined, I might get stuck, I might lose the truck. I ain't gonna do that. Not for $40,000 worth of equipment, uh-uh. The snow was accompanied by high winds, 80 miles an hour reported in Pittsburgh. But with schools and businesses either closed or virtually closed, the wisest thing for most people to do was simply stay home. Don Webster, CBS News, Chicago. Health officials said today that a flu strain that affected millions of Russians this year has broken out among children in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Its first confirmed appearance in the United States, uh, although they do say it probably exists elsewhere here. Children and the elderly are most likely to catch the Russian flu for which no vaccines available. Its symptoms are the usual, fever, chills, a cough, and that achy feeling. If you're serious about getting a lot for your money, price our Pontiac Le Mans. It's redesigned from the formal front end to its spacious trunk. There are comforts you'd expect from much costlier cars, plush fabrics, deep carpet, and perhaps the handsomest new dash on the highway. Its sticker price, just $44.81 for the look, the feel, the flair of Le Mans. Price Le Mans. Price all our Pontiacs at your Pontiac dealer. This is not pretty, but it's what's happening to our cities. Savings and loan associations are helping to stop this blight. Take this new Vista project in Chicago. Here, over 50 SNLs joined with local and state governments to help revitalize this area. This $7 million project is designed to upgrade 11 buildings in particular and an entire neighborhood in general. By working together, we can save our cities. Savings and loans are local people serving you and your community. 